Let's bring back Maureen O'Connell. She spent 25 years as a special agent at the FBI. One woman is dead, Maureen. Two adult men injured, also a little girl injured. Psychologically speaking, I mean, when you hear that this uh, suspected gunman is 19 years old from the neighborhood, what kind of picture does that paint for you in your experience as an FBI agent? It tells me that he's been really busy on social media and that he's been engaging in all type of uh, propaganda that you can find online. Another, um, another thing that I'm thinking as I look at this entire scenario is with the increase of attacks on places of worship, you're also going to find an increase in people carrying weapons to church, which is exactly what you saw today. Most people, for many, many years, law enforcement officers may not have ever brought their weapons to their places of worship. But you're seeing that change. That trend really has um, d taken on a life of its own at this point. Yeah, the Sutherland Springs, Texas shooting. I mean, 26 people were killed there, 20 wounded in a, in a little country church. And it was only because a, a neighbor happened to hear the gunshots and, and came with a semi-automatic rifle of his own and was able to uh, to hit the shooter. That's the only reason that that rampage wasn't far worse than it was. Is there any indication at this point uh, the amount of ammunition that this person had on their person? I have not heard anything. Again, the investigation is is still in its infancy. But it's it's interesting to me. So many of these guys, you know, they put on the body armor and they're carrying a gun and they think they're big. Right. They think they're tough. And then all of a sudden, somebody else has a gun, and it's pointing at them, and they turn around and run. Exactly. You see it time and time again. And it happened twice in this particular instance. It happened initially when he came into the church, and I heard the initial witnesses say that there were six rounds, approximately six rounds fired, and then a break, and then an additional six rounds fired. And I bet when all is said and done, we'll hear that those rounds were fired initially into the crowd, then the shooter was engaged by the border patrol agent and then he ran and then when he ran the border patrol agent ran out there got a um, description of his vehicle and probably the tag number because that um, san diego police officer did a fantastic heroic job pulling that car over knowing full well that that person just conducted this horrific act and he did it alone Great police work after such a, uh, a terrible event at the synagogue in Poway, California. Maureen O'Connell, who spent 25 years as a special agent with the FBI. Maureen, thank you. Thank you, sir.